Hello everyone and welcome to readersplanet.com and we are here to review the Kindle's latest UI update. Kindle launched its latest UI update in September 2021 and its aim was to get a simple user interface through a software update. I have with me the latest 10th generation Amazon Kindle on the right in black color and the old 8th generation Kindle in white color. This old generation Kindle has the older software or older update whereas this newer generation Kindle, 10th generation Kindle has the newer latest UI updated software. We're going to compare both, see the differences between the features and in the end we'll conclude which part of the update was better and which was not. So without a further ado, let's dive in. So let's have a look at it. Uh, this is the old generation Kindle and you can see the old menu here with the old appearance and the new generation Kindle you have the newer appearance consisting of home book and library we'll go this in detail the home screen appears in such a beautiful way with library really listing and book wishes then comes the current book which you are reading and the third part is the library function this is the library function here you can directly go to library so these three shortcuts are already added in your home screen Coming to the 8th generation Kindles, here you can see there are no shortcuts but only one static menu bar. But there is one thing missing in the new Kindle update which is absolutely essential that is the back button. As you can see the menu bar is missing for the new Kindle update on the right whereas the old Kindle has the menu bar present with the back button. You actually may not require the back button in the newer Kindle update as you have every of the shortcut present in the home screen itself. Only time when you require a back button is when you make a change deeper in the settings. And if you're not happy with those settings and want to go back to the exact settings in one click is the time when you require the back button. So I have changed the home screen view here and for some reason I'm not happy with the home screen view and I want to go back to the settings in one click I can use the back button so here I'm using the black back button and I'm going to the settings directly and making changes again this you cannot do in the new Kindle update as there is no back button for this section is about the Kindle's quick settings and the way you can access Kindle's quick settings has also changed. Kindle's quick settings consist of the functionalities such as airplane mode, Bluetooth, brightness adjustment, color warmth adjustment and more. You can get access to the menu by swiping down from the top of the screen instead of tapping a button. So as you can see, I'm swiping down and again access these functionalities such as airplane mode sync and all settings etc these functionalities will vary as per your kindle feature and your kindle model another change brought out by the new kindle software update is in the browser section now they use the terminology web browsing instead of experimental browsing so as you can see in the new kindle update they made it web browser of experimental browser however nothing has really changed in the browser it's sluggish as before and it seems that they have only changed the name from the menu bar because here you can see experimental browser menu on the on the certificate now let's see the changes inside the book as i open the book in the new kindle and in the old kindle as well so as you can notice the menu bar straight away the uh, the menu bar is missing two buttons and whereas in the old game the old static menu is intact which is how it should be inside the book you can also see the go to button is replaced by the triple dot in the new Kindle update whereas the page display button has been replaced by the letter a in the new Kindle update the features are same as you can see only the thing the nomenclature and the layout has been changed there is one more thing to point out in the new Kindle update that the library function library reset function has been replaced I have opened the libraries on both the Kindles old and new 
and as you can see and I'm turning the pages of the library and when I press the library button it should reset the page to one so that is not happening uh, see I'm pressing the button and it's not getting me to one so I have to manually go and go to page one when I do the same on the old Kindle uh, the reset works so that is, that is something which I wanted to point it out in conclusion we can see the navigational thing introduced by Kindle in its new firmware is is really good it and the shortcut really helps but we would like to suggest few things we would like to recommend to bring back the back button which is a major missing in the uh, new update new firmware update absence of the back button is really making them the reading experience inconvenient secondly what we would request is to bring the static menu bar in the new kindle update as the kindle readers are not used to having change in their ui and the dynamic menu bar which they are not comfortable using so that's it from our side if you think we missed something or you want some other suggestion please mention in the comment section below and don't forget to follow us via readersplanet.com.